Welcome to this demonstration on how to set up a calculated column in the gradebook for Moodle. This is useful if you want some fancier ways to show averages and totals for your students. I hope you will find adding calculations very fitting to your Moodle course. To configure calculations in your Moodle course, first log in as a teacher. For this demonstration, I will be using the Moodle demo. Then click on your course. For this demonstration, the course is Moodle Features Demo. Next, scroll down and on the left hand side, click Grades in the administration block. This will bring up your gradebook and a list of your current students and assigned assignments. For demonstration purposes, Student Demo and Bob Smith are fake students and we also have three fake assignments. The fourth column will be ex excluded and the course total will be where our calculations come in. But first, let's assign some grades. The first thing you always need to do is that on the top right hand corner, click Turn Editing On. This will allow you to start editing grades. The first box is for numerical grades and the second box with dashed lines are for comments. So let's add some grades. Student Demo has done really well. 100 190. Oh, on the other hand, Bob Smith is barely passing. 60, 65, and 80. Now remember to click Update. The grades will be automatically calculated, and oh, look at that! By default, the course total column will calculate the average of all the grades that you entered in. But now we want to do some fancier calculations. That's what this tutorial is for. In the middle, on top here, click Show Calculations. Now underneath the words Course Total, you will see a little calculator symbol. Click it. Here we can assign calculations. But first, we want to assign ID numbers to each assignment to make them easier to input. For this tutorial, let's make them 1, 2, and 3. Click Add ID Numbers. Now we can make some calculations. But how? Click on the little orange question mark for the formats. Here will be the details for all the different calculations we can make. They range from averages to maximums to totals and even powers. You do not have to memorize all these functions as they will be readily available always. But it would be pretty helpful to read it over once. But here, I will give a brief run through. First, always start with an equal sign. Next is the function, followed by parentheses. Let's try sum parentheses. Next, we list all the assignments according to their ID numbers. Here, we have 1, 2, 3. Each ID number needs to be encased by two pairs of hard brackets, like so. and each ID number needs to be separated by a comma. To end it, we add a closed parentheses. Click Save Changes. And there you go. The course total now shows the summation of each person's grades. As you can see, this can be very useful for calculating totals and averages for your students. I hope you will use the calculations feature in Moodle and benefit from the wonderful open source Moodle.